finances. So, yeah. so uh, congratulations on season two, guys. I'm so happy. I'm such a big fan of uh, the show. And um, yeah, I'm so happy. So we're gonna speak, we're gonna begin. I really loved episode one. It was really started on a high note. It was great, happy moments and all. But I'm not a fan of happy endings. So I was really happy when the last scene, um, I'm not happy about the death, but I'm happy that it happened. And um, it was really great, the, the whole moment when everyone was looking at Tumi. Uh, how were you guys during that moment and how was uh, preparation? Because it's really great. So, so how? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm understanding the question correctly. Yes. Um, uh, you know, grandma died. <laughs> no, I, but I did say I'm not happy about her death. I'm just happy that it wasn't a happy ending, and I really love the whole emotional, you know, state with everyone there. Um, so the acting, basically, and uh, how did you guys prepare for that? Because it was really great. I think that, you know, you will remember from, and I'm from sounding like a, positive, a politician here, I think those are things that I did in, in season one, the wedding, when we were establishing that I had to find those words that our community chief always used, you know, so I'll come with things like, you will remember <laughs> that, uh, in season one and how to ruin Christmas, the wedding, there was indeed a common denominator being a problem such as uh, uh, Utuhumi, who is always in the middle of any shenanigans that are happening there. Exactly. Yes. So Utuhumi, hey, unfortunately, she also finds herself in trouble this this this, this season as well. Mm-hmm. Christmas, the funeral, uh, where uh, I'm sure like you, we don't want to spoil it for, for others that haven't seen it yet. I know that you as yeah. a general have seen it, uh, but then without giving too much away, I think you know, like we've always said, you know, we've, all, we've always got this beautiful script to, to rely on uh, uh, as, a, as a point of departure for anything. As much as we were also glad that Gogo Twala is not with us, uh, or she is in, in a bit, uh, it was, it was, actually, you tell us about this. Right. How, how do you tell me about this? I mean, I mean, look, I remember uh, season one, How to Ruin Christmas, the wedding was incredible, was brilliant. Yeah. Even while she- such a blast okay the two uh the funeral i mean when we were shooting that scene i remember as we were standing there i was like oh my goodness we're back there again you know and and you could just feel it that oh Dubi has messed it up and once again okay. to me is a flop <laughs> you know <laughs> she goes in hard but shame she can't help it done band. You know, it's just yeah. well, as just, much as she's even trying to help, it just always big fires on her. So it's like no. But now yeah. uh, the union, we all come back. It's Christmas again. We want to catch up on what's going down. That it's a funeral, so you can only imagine. And the care. And I mean, funerals yourself. You know, things get tough there. Emma put doing it. I was telling why Um, you know. Whether Malia or So but I look for the thinnest one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but we find comedy in, in, in all those situations with how to ruin Christmas, the funeral season two. Yeah. And then there's Samba, who's I think he's really scared of his mother and now that somehow kind of puts his wife in a very uh, compromising situation uh do you um let me just put it this way uh we've we have history of um mothers treating our wives of their sons in a certain way do you feel like as men we should always uh somehow speak to our mothers that you know what now this is what's going to happen and you should treat my wife this way and that way or is it just that i'm just scared of her there's nothing i can do check me out i mean there comes a point in life where you gotta grow some balls yeah exactly but cooler and but always never disrespect your mom you know, because yeah, you know what's going to happen to those balls if you. Yeah, they'll get crushed. <laughs> and I trust Kemba, those balls get crushed very quickly. But yeah. we got to respect our mothers and we also got to love our, our wives and protect them. Right. So I think one has to create a conversation 
because you know more, more shatter. Um, your wife kind of becomes your mom. No. You know, so, so you need a proper handover from Uma Marco to your wife. You know, so I, I think it's a conversation that people are going to have when they get home this Christmas and seeing Temba going through this with Lydia. Yeah. And then you also had a great relationship with your mother, Uko Tswala, and I really loved the whole chemistry, the chemistry, even the conversation were really great. Did you have any sorts of preparation for that or it was just, you know, running with the scripts and all? Because it was great. Yeah, and look, I think I think um, obviously one has to prepare for any role and anything that you take. You can't take anything for granted and say, oh yeah, I'll just rely on the script. In as much as the, the script yeah. is good, um, the prep that goes into uh, specifically every dynamic. I mean, as a family, how do we relate to one another in a way that 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 is not only believable but also relatable? The script is well written, but how do we then prepare as the Twala family in how to ruin Christmas? How do we prepare to say? This is what we are offering. It was easier, obviously, than two with the funeral because we had already made choices in season one and the wedding. So as people, we kind of knew where we, as, as actors, we knew where to position our characters. But then, yeah, I think the magic just happened because the casting was so excellent. I think Gokhtwal, uh, I mean, ah, man, I was just sad to see, but no, man, no, man, to lose one of our own as yeah. family. I mean, it's already, Mutaz uh, alluded to the fact that we have, almost become like a family where I don't get that a month uh, without us. We still get along. We have a WhatsApp group together. We have lunches together. We have uh, all sorts of things. We support each other in whatever uh, the other is doing. Yeah. was, uh, for, for instance, uh, two months ago, he was releasing, I don't know how many people know that he's actually a talented singer. Um, so oh, I all, do know. Yeah, man, this guy, I, I, I. So yeah, so so it's that kind of thing that, that that it's become we've become a family now, and even the preparation for when we go and shoot has become almost organic, because you know you now know uh, the dynamic. We've already set the sort of platform in how to ruin Christmas the wedding. So in the funeral, it, it became what is happening to us now kind of thing, uh, and then adapting to that and then shooting it uh, to make it as real as possible. Yeah, and uh, season one was really great, but I feel like season two was even great. It was amazing. And I know that uh, with both seasons, you guys shot during the pandemic, but how different was it this season? And how was Deben? Because I know we treat, you, we treat people great here. How was your experience in Deben when you were filming here? Deben is such a lovely place to chill and enjoy and shoot. Um, yeah. It's beautiful. You know, the people are, are, are just heartwarming and they're receptive, you know. But unfortunately, this time around, it was locked down. So we didn't yeah. really experience Devin the way we, we, so the only people that we had was ourselves. So it felt oh, like it was the cast and crew in Devin and nobody else. You know, I'm, I'm, it's always amazing to be with the, with the team. Like I would, I would, like I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Like being, being with Papa Des, being with, Papa Saint, Shamane, Wine, like, and we, because we, we all get along like a house on fire. It's stupid. So, yes, we had like lockdown and there was, we couldn't go anywhere. And um, obviously, like, we'd want to have a drink or two. Um, so, by the time we got there, second day, they're like, ah, ah. So, I mean, it was kind of tough, but, but just spending time with, with, with our family, this family was incredible, you know, I mean, the scenery, the house that we shot at, oh my God, we stayed at that hotel, um, the, the, what is it? Can we name it? I'm sure we can, what's the hotel with, by the corner, what is it? Can we name it? Yes. Um, you see, the reason it's not coming out is because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so one last question. Uh, my time is running out. Um, how important do you guys it is for fathers to uh, have a relationship with their dads? Because um, I think the show really showed a great representation on dads with um, even the girls on girls' side. How important do you guys it is for fathers to have a relationship with their uh, sons? Maybe if I could start, um, I, I was always, um, I have two beautiful daughters and I remember like, you know, there's always this patriarchal look at things like, oh, I'm going to start again at Pampers. 
<laughs> because <laughs> that's it. I have two beautiful girls and I will do with my girls what I would have done with my sons. So for me, it's really about, uh, it's not about this, the, the, the gender of the, of the child. It is you as a parent have to have those those kind of relationships with your children. Yeah. Um, yeah. And people say things like, oh, I'm babysitting my child. And somebody says, what? You're not babysitting, you're parenting. That is your child. Yeah. Whom that is your job. You brought them here. It is your gig to raise them. So parenting for me is super, super important because your children are who you are. They, you know, they are representation of the years of be it positive or negative uh, schooling from your part. I think that parenting is like, yo, that thing, I'm still trying to, people tell me I'm a good dad. I'm still like, yo, I, I'm not so sure because there's so many things that go on. It's such a dynamic place to be as a parent. The children are evolving. It's not, you know, being a child to a, a, a dad to a 12 year old or a two year old is different. And now being a dad to a 21 year old who has finished varsity, loving your adult children is completely different. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm a dad to two boys, right? Yeah. Like that's hectic. So it's like the same. Um, I'm a father, I'm a fan. But all right, you gotta be there for your kids, yeah. you know? It doesn't matter. Um, in fact, I think boys, for me, I think it's even easier because it's a much chance. A much chance to always be boys, you know. But you got to be strict, booty. These are the values that you must live by. I think protecting Abu Aban Bisma is even harder. Yeah. Now, we, there's a much that we have a responsibility to teach Lane Dwana, which we got to take care of our sister. Yeah. And then vice versa, which is, and we've got to take care of Amajita wage. You, you, you understand? But Amajita Manje in South Africa, I mean, there's, there's all this GBV nonsense. There's a lot of rape going on. Um, um, so, like, for example, like at, at home, um, if, if something happens, would Papa, oh, Mama did this. I realize, which I can't say to my kids, oh, my kids are not shy. Yeah. You understand? But before you can say, which uh ah, -uh, Agaboe, don't hit your brother on shy. I want it's okay. Yeah. But to your mom, to the mom, you can't say that because my parents subliminally so you are launching this thing already. It's okay to hit. You can't. Mm -hmm. You can't you you watch your own kids. You can't hit the kids, mm -hmm. so you gotta watch what you say. So we have to evolve and adapt with the way school is about gonna be to whether it be boys and girls. And I think with how to ruin Christmas, um, the funeral and the wedding. The relationship that the the brothers had was 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 incredible, um, and yeah, and the that the dad has with Indona Zaki is also so lovely. I think it's going to encourage um, families out there to you know some let's 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 be one. Um, other other I mean, with the instances where I remember, I think I think your character is more closer to Spuda, right? And and Uma yeah, I was going to ask that, yeah. Uh, Dynamics. So every family has those things, but then at the end of the day, Sindhu one, let's communicate and share with our children, which is better than that. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. Um, this is great. Can't wait for everyone to watch the show. It's amazing. Um, and for you guys to get more awards again this season. Um, yeah. Thank yep. you. Oh, we are yeah, swimming. Bye. Again. <laughs> yeah, bye. Thank you. Sure.